The Red for Ed movement is in full swing here in Flagstaff as teachers prepare to walk out across Arizona tomorrow. We have complete team coverage for you tonight. We begin with NAZ Today's Michaela Clark, who tells us how things got to this point. Michaela? Here in Flagstaff, classes are canceled starting Thursday, and the superintendent says they will be canceled until the walkout ends or until enough staff return to work to ensure the safety of students. This walkout is the result of tension that has been building for some time. After years of deep cuts in state funding, teachers and school supporters founded Red for Ed with a simple message, enough. Support our students! It started with these red shirts and walk-ins, meetings held before school so they didn't disrupt learning. Things steadily progressed until Red for Ed became a statewide movement. Red for Ed! Under pressure, Governor Doug Ducey offered a 20% raise by 2020, but teachers say the plan is not sustainable and that other school workers were left out. I'm hopeful that between the staff and, and the Red for Ed movement and our legislators, we can find some common ground uh, and really ad start addressing uh, the needs uh, around our state and provide the education uh, that our students deserve. Last week, teachers voted to walk out beginning tomorrow. In Flagstaff, our staff have indicated their intentions to participate in the walkout through requesting leave. For student safety, Pensa decided it was important to cancel classes during the walkout. As a superintendent, my job is to ensure that our school uh, education is meaningful and safe for our students and so we've been uh, able to determine that we're not able to have our schools open uh, on the days of the walkout. Flagstaff Mayor Coral Evans spent five years teaching. Evans says it is wrong for the state to spend more money per capita on prisoners than students. I mean, What does it say about a, a state or society that would rather buy prison uniforms than make sure everybody gets a cap and gown? because they're graduating. That says a whole lot about our priorities, and I think that that's shameful. I really believe our students in Flagstaff and across the state really deserve better. They deserve a world-class education, and you know we need to invest in them. They're our future leaders, caretakers, our future innovators, and the future citizens of our community. Superintendent Penza says he supports the teachers, but he wishes the strike could be avoided. I don't advocate for uh, efforts that disrupt uh, our learning experiences and services to kids and um, use my position as superintendent to advocate in different ways, contacting legislatures. FUSD will be communicating to parents on a daily basis to let them know when school will be open. Michaela Clark, NAZ Today.